Brian May has hinted he may move out of London as he gave fans an update about his flooding drama, which damaged many of his precious possessions. Brian May has admitted he no longer feels safe at his London residence, where he lives with his wife Anita Dobson, after flooding destroyed their home. The Queen Legend's Kensington property was one of many houses damaged by the severe weather conditions earlier this month. In an update this week, The 74-year-old said the flood was the last straw for them living in London. Brian shared a video apologizing for his social media silence as he admitted he had been immersed in a bit of a catastrophe. It has actually knocked my guts out, I have to say, he continued. The Radio Gaga hitmaker went on to say his ground floor was inundated by sewage water, which had been pretty painful in terms of damage. The flooding has also caused damage to many of the couple's precious possessions, such as old photo albums and family memorabilia. We no longer feel safe, he added. I think it's the last straw for us in London because we haven't felt safe here for a long time. It's not the London I used to know and now it is definitely not safe. Brian added he was now fearful the flooding could continue when poor weather strikes again. In a previous video, the rock star said he had been struggling to sleep since the incident. The guitarist had also slammed the infamous Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea Council for the flooding. A council spokesman said, Our priority is to make sure residents who have been affected by last night's flooding have the help they need. Overnight we have placed 120 residents in emergency hotel accommodation and are making emergency repairs this morning. Away from his drama, Brian has been trying to get his remastered album back to the light to number one. The rock star's album includes his popular hit Driven by You. Brian encouraged fans to sign up to his army and support his record on Instagram. It comes after his tour with Queen was postponed due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic. The father of three went back to focusing on his music following his heart attack last year.